Hi, welcome to SimplyScuba.com. In this session, we look at the Oceanic Geo2 dive computer. Let's take a closer look. A number of Oceanic dive computers, including the one we're taking a look at today, gives you the ability to switch between two different algorithms. The advantage of this is it means it can mimic most of the dive computers on the market. So if your buddy is using a different computer, you can adjust it to provide a similar profile. This gives you the flexibility for safety, providing much more conservative options if required, giving you a safer dive. Okay, so you look at some of the features we've got on the computer then. As you can see, it's a watch-style computer, so it's got a nice low profile. You can wear it for every day-to-day -day use. Obviously got the, uh, the time setting on the front there, so it's nice and comfortable on the wrist. It's got a nice watch strap on the back as well. It's a nice rubberized watch strap, nice and comfortable. It does come with an extender as well, so you can set it up so it can fit over the, uh, the wrist of a, a dry suit if you need to, or obviously just keep it in this configuration to fit over the wrist of a wetsuit. On the front, we have some nice, large stainless steel buttons. They protrude out quite nicely, so nice and easy to get hold of, especially when you've got gloves on as well, they're nice and easy to push. Nice clear display on the front as well, so it makes it nice and easy to read. So some of the features we've got including in the actual computer system itself. It's Aero Nitrox compatible and also has in-dive switching. We have audio and visual alarms built in to alert you. It has a log book, history and a planner built in also, and a usable placeable battery on the back, which is great. Just cuts down on any um, extra maintenance costs. You can replace the battery yourself. We also have the uh, addition of an optional PC interface that you can clip on so you can transfer all the content of the computer onto your PC and store all your log dives on there. So if we now take a look at the menu system on the computer. Okay, so as we said before, we've got a nice clear display, makes it nice and easy to read underwater. As I said before, we've got the four buttons on the outside. This is what you use to obviously scroll through the menu system and, and make relevant changes. We have a select button, a mode button, an advanced button in the bottom corner, and we have a light in the other corner. Currently sat in its time mode. This is the default mode the computer switches to, and obviously the mode you stay on when using it in day-to-day -day use because it displays the time. It is a water-activated computer as well, so it will automatically switch to dive mode once you enter the water. So to scroll through the menus on time mode, we use the mode and advanced buttons. You can scroll through and set various things like times, alarms, dual times, and various other settings. To enter into a setting menu, literally just select the page, press the select key, and then you can then go through and change the relevant information. Then again, using this scroll key, uh, select key, you can then flick through the additional information. Using the mode and advanced keys, you can then make the changes. So literally scroll through all the details till you get back to the home page again. Nice and simple operation, as you can see. Which is just by obviously pushing the buttons, you can make those changes. So to get actually into the dive mode, we go back to time. Holding down the mode button, then push you through to the dive mode. So here currently, obviously in its surface state, you have your surface time, other relevant information is shown in the center. You have your dive time. We've got it currently set in the normal mode. This is normal air mode, so it's displayed there. So as with the time mode, you can flick through the additional menus with the mode and advanced buttons. And obviously go back through going up and down. So some of the modes we've got here then, we have a history mode where you can go back and see details of your last dive. If you're recording it in a logbook, you can press through to here, show all the vital details of your last dive and log that in your logbook. We have a setting for mode, so you can switch between air and nitrox. We have a settings for utilities, a settings for alarms, and a settings to change your FO2 settings as well. Here we have the logbook, the planner, which is obviously used to work out your no decompression times, obviously by setting select goes through to that menu, and again using the up and down keys, you can set your planned depth to give you no decompression time. Pressing select again then sends you back into the menu. We also have fly and desaturation times, uh, your last dive details, and then back to the normal dive mode. 
And as we said as well, we do have the light on here, so you can press this at any time, which displays the light during the dive. So a really simple, easy to use menu. You can flick through all the details nice and quickly and very easily.